Hi, I'm Anita Perez, also known as Luminaria Star, and this is a Metaphysician's Journal. Today is January 18th, 2015, and on this day in history, a lot of really interesting things happened. On January 18th, 1778, the English explorer Captain James Cook became the first European to discover the Hawaiian Islands when he sailed past the island of Oahu. And on this day in 1912, after a two-month ordeal, the expedition of British explorer Robert Scott arrived at the South Pole only to find that Roald Amundsen, the Norwegian explorer, had preceded them by just over a month. And on this day in 1919, in Paris, France, some of the most powerful people in the world met to begin the long, complicated negotiations that would officially mark the end of the First World War and theoretically restore peace to Europe. It was the war to end all wars. Many notable births in occurred on this day, including Daniel Webster, the famous author of the dictionary, born in 1782, compiler, I should say, of a dictionary. A. A. Milne, the author of Winnie the Pooh, was born in 1882. Oliver Hardy of Laurel and Hardy was born on this day in 1892. Joseph Bonanno, a.k.a. Joey Bananas, was born in 1905. Harry Grant, born Archibald Alexander Leach, in 1904. Danny Kaye was born on this day in 1911. And in 1933, Ray Dolby was born. He's the sound engineer who invented the Dolby Noise Limiting System. In 1944, Larry Legs Smith was born. He's the rocker known as the Urban Spaceman, who was active with the Bonzo Dog Band, personal favorite of mine. Kevin Costner was born on this day in 1955. And in 1973, Crispian Mills, who was vocalist, guitarist, and frontman for the psychedelic rock group Cooler Shaker. You may remember them as the people who had the hit Hush. And my personal favorite of today, Robert Anton Wilson, author, playwright, philosopher, Renaissance man, futurist, and self described agnostic mystic who was also declared as Episcopal, Pope, and Saint of Discordianism, was born on this day in 1932. He was best known for his Illuminatus trilogy, his Schrodinger's Cat trilogy, and his Cosmic Trigger series. Illuminatus popularized Discordianism and the use of the term Finord. It incorporates experimental prose styles influenced by writers such as William S. Burroughs, James Joyce, and Ezra Pound. Critics ranted and raved about his irreverent and often deliberately absurd writing style. Wilson described his work as, quote, an attempt to break down conditioned associations, to look at the world in a new way, with many models recognized as maps, and no one model elevated to the truth. He explained that his goal was, quote, to try to get people into a state of generalized agnosticism, not agnosticism about God alone, but agnosticism about everything, unquote. He was as hated for this as he was loved. 
His prose includes some of the most ridiculously gorgeous and yet revolting imagery produced in the 20th century. Explosions of flowers and nubile goddesses rub shoulders with psychopaths and entrails falling into buckets of gore. Callie and Cleopatra sit down to lunch with Dillinger and Aleister Crowley, and never is an eyelash turn. Rainbows and maggots and angels, oh my. He rolled the sublime and the profane all together into one smelly, multifoliate world, and that's how he saw it. What he saw, he wrote, without restraint, without hesitation, with many a tear and a loud guffaw. On January 6, 2007, Wilson wrote on his blog that according to several medical authorities, he would likely only have between two days and two months left to live. He closed this message with, quote, I look forward without dogmatic optimism, but also without dread. I love you all, and I deeply implore you to keep the lasagna flying. Please pardon my levity. I don't see how to take yes seriously. It seems absurd, unquote. He died peacefully five days later on January 11th. After his cremation on January 18th, his birthday, and his family held memorial service, also held on the same day. His family scattered most of his ashes at the same spot as his wife's, off the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California. Dear Robert, may the chaos embrace you as gracefully and lovingly as you embrace, embrace it. I leave you with two final thoughts. Whatever reality consists of, it actually would seem much weirder than we commonly imagine. And, the Nord. And that concludes this entry of a metaphysician's journal. I wish you peace.